Hey dreamers, Dreamland LPS here, and today I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of a controversial topic. And that is how toxic the LPS Instagram community is becoming. Now, I just wanna clearly state before this video starts is that I'm not trying to offend anybody by anything that I'm saying in this video, but if you are offended by it, I apologize, and I don't mean for it to come off in that way. Although, if you are offended and you're gonna be mean about it, and you comment, they will be deleted, because I just don't really support any of that negativity on my channel. That's not why I make videos. I make videos to make people smile and to laugh, or to inform. There's a fly. There is a fly in my studio. I think I got him. <laughs> also, if you hear booming, um, no, I'm not in a nuclear war shelter. It's just the day after 4th of July in America, so. Anyways, with all that being said, let's dive right into it. So, the first thing that I really want to talk about is of course what everybody else is talking about the san diego comic-con dragon like exclusive pets um as you may all know already from like lps honey and cobalt yeah lps cobalt they made videos about them so if you really want to know more about all the little details you guys can go ahead and watch their videos i will link them in the description down below they're amazing lps tubers so please go check out their content if you haven't already basically of course which is no surprise to any lps collector nowadays our people are price gouging these um exclusive pets Ew. Like, I get it. Like, they're Comic-Con pets and they're like exclusive. I don't know, I just don't think this is like right for me. I don't wanna do it. I wanna go home. Like, I can't take the pressure of it. But don't you think any job interview- But when I mean like price gouging, if you don't know what that means, I'll put a definition right here. It means that they're like ridiculously priced for no real reason. And I know you're gonna be like, but there is a reason, they're exclusive and they're like once in a lifetime, like you're not gonna be able to get them again. Okay, calm down. Calm down, please, before you comment that down below. Um, I'm aware that they're exclusive. I just said it like four times, but. I just think that like $150 before they're even like released to the public is crazy. Like. People are already planning to resell these for $150, which means when they're actually like in the palm of people's hands and people have bought them, like how much more do you think that they're gonna be priced for? One million dollars. Cause LPS 909 is already like, s sorry, LPS 909. They feel the same way that I do about these prices. I mean, come on, they're like already going crazy. Um, but basically, LPS 909 is going for like 600, like $700, which I remember little like 12, maybe 14 year old me being like, oh my gosh, like she's like $300. Like that's crazy. Like I'm never gonna be able to afford her. But maybe when I have like, like, a, like an adult job, like I can. Now with my two adult jobs, <laughs> I still can't afford her because I have a car to pay for, I have a phone bill to pay for, I have- I have to pay for those and I have to pay for college and textbooks which are like also like $150. So anyways, I don't want to get too opinionated about these things but like I just feel like it has to be said. Um, some of you LPS collectors are being a little classist to other ones.
But me personally, I haven't been um, subjected to that personally yet, although after this video I might. Obviously this has been a problem for a long time, but it mostly just started to like... Everyone was just like jumping on the bandwagon like, whoa, like, I'm gonna fight you because you're, you have more money than me. And it was like, people in the comments being like, oh well, if you have the money to afford that, like you should be able to afford like something else. Or like, wouldn't you rather be putting your money towards like a car or like your phone or whatever? Okay, like I'm not saying that it's one-sided here because it's not. The classism is coming from both sides. People being like, I can't afford that, but you can, and I don't like you because you can. And also, the other people being like, oh, well, maybe if you saved your money, like, you could, or maybe if you got a better job, like, you could afford this, or maybe if you weren't so poor, like, you could afford this pet. Oh my god, just, like, shut up and, like, give each other a hug, or, like, I don't know, like... <laughs> I just, I think it's kind of ridiculous that it's gotten to that point where like both sides are being classist. It's not just one side being like, I'm better than you or like, you suck because you're rich. Listen, like I'm a broke college girly. Do I wish I could afford a 909? Yeah, but I have college textbooks to pay for. But you don't see me like bashing in people's comments being like, oh, <laughs> like, honestly, good for you that you can afford all of those things. Like, good for you. Oh my god. You can't really say anything without people getting mad about it. Which like is literally like I could say hello or I could say I hope you have a good day and someone could be like Well I hope your day is worse than mine. <laughs> like you could say anything, you could literally do anything and there's gonna be at least one person that's gonna disagree with you. And I bet when I post this there's gonna be like a couple a good amount they're just gonna have something to say and honestly like if you're too negative your comment will be deleted and you know what you can go ahead and talk about me all you want in a group chat or behind my back i don't really care if it really bothers you that much you could just block me my instagram will be in the description so if you're bothered just do that before commenting please it's hard to like talk about it in a way that's not gonna get people upset because like I could say I could choose a side I feel like we shouldn't be putting each other down about these things instead I feel like we should be lifting each other up and like supporting each other being like oh like I hope one day you can save up to have that or like oh like I hope like one day like you can find a good listing that you can afford instead of being like oh well too bad I guess you're never gonna get it or like oh well someone's gonna buy it i guess like yeah someone is gonna buy it there's a market for literally anything but that doesn't necessarily mean that it should be at that price they've reached like i guess like vintage value now because they're over like 20 years old which is like the same age as me so i guess i'm vintage guys i'm vintage we have the short hair 1024 which i bought her for twelve dollars on july 25th 2022 so two years ago literally like almost two years ago exactly because it's july now there's one <laughs> that i found actually going for seven hundred dollars because it's a factory error but i don't know about you guys but based on this picture her forehead is like way too shiny like to be an error and it kind of looks like they just like rubbed the little hair thing with acetone and they made her bald and <gasps> oh my gosh she's bald she's bald and she's torturing people who have hair said it's a factory error and now they're trying to sell her for seven hundred dollars one person liked it and please do not waste your money on this fugly lps she's literally bald there's like nothing special about her if you want this buy one for literally like 15 20 dollars and just wipe it away wipe it away make her bald if you want a bald lps in your collection i'm just saying on miss baldy please as someone who loves short hairs and has a collection of like 32 of them please do not waste your money on miss baldy's basics over here good lord 
that is like ridiculous. That is not a good deal. You are like throwing money down the drain right now. Please look for something better so you can have more in your collection. I feel like that's what people aren't necessarily understanding. It's not that one side is better. It's not that like they're an investment nowadays. Like with the price that they are, LPS are an investment. So I'm gonna keep this segment kind of short because um, I ran on longer than I wanted to talking about those other segments. People think that it's okay to make the prices really high just by throwing the words like super rare, vintage, retro LPS, basically just like, like big words in your face being like, oh, if I throw these in your face, like you're gonna buy it. No, it's just to gain traction. Obviously, people selling things are gonna try and get the most out of what they can get. And I understand. Listen, I understand the hustle. I get it. Let's just say you're a collector and you're broke like I am. Just trust me on this. Save it up. You will find that good deal. Just because somebody else is gonna be mean to you because you can't afford a pet or someone's gonna bash you because, oh my God, I can't believe you spent that much money on one LPS. Both sides aren't necessarily going to be happy all the time. Let's be real here. This is the real world. Most of us as collectors are adults now, but we also have to understand that like, think back to when you were 12 and 14 or even younger than that and you dreamt of your dream LPS that you may have in your collection now. It could be anyone, it doesn't have to be a main five. It could literally be any LPS. Think about the young collectors now that maybe can't afford like a $70 LPS because they're not the ones making the money. It's their parents or it's their grandparents or it's their guardian. A gift for Christmas or like a holiday or like their birthday. And that could be the only thing they get because it's so expensive. I remember saving my money for like months just to buy like a few LPS that I really loved. And they're like, they're considered cheap now, but back then, like for me, that was like a lot of money to throw down on an LPS. It's like, that was a, an investment for me because I was young. Yeah, I didn't necessarily have an adult job yet. So I just think that like, yes, there's somebody that's going to buy a really expensive LPS, but that doesn't mean that every single one needs to be at that price. Just because there's somebody out there that's gonna buy that doesn't mean that it should be that price. And it's not because it's not fair. Cause it is kind of not fair for the for the collectors that are like kids and teenagers. Like I feel like sometimes people don't consider that anymore because we're grown up now. We don't have to think about that, but sometimes we have to remember and realize that we're not the only people in this community now like now that lps are becoming gen 7 and they're getting revamped it's gonna bring in kids they're kids toys they're marketed towards kids yes they're collector's items for us for us they're collector's items but to a kid it's another toy that they want it's another thing that they want it's something that they want and if they can't afford that it it could be heartbreaking for them and I'm not trying to start drama or beef or anything. I just wanted to come out here and say, life is not fair. I know that. I do know that. And sometimes we have to live with the cards that we're dealt with, but we also have to think about the collectors that are much younger than us and that don't have jobs because legally they cannot get a job and they have to depend on building their collection by like, holidays and birthdays and just gifts i don't know it makes it hurts me a little bit because i remember being a kid and i was so excited to buy an lps because i was like oh my god i found one for like ten dollars i'm gonna get it and i just feel like nobody's gonna get that experience anymore if we just keep doing this so think about it next time you list an lps